Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Crystal No Healing in Battle Nuzlocke Challenge. In the last episode, we made our way through the Ilex Forest, losing a Pineco because it used self-destruct, but thankfully we didn't lose any of our Pokemon because of it, and making our way here to Route 34, I believe, and clearing out some of the trainers. We even caught ourselves an Ekans in Azalea Town with Headbutt, which is pretty sweet. We cleared most of the trainers, including this guy, and we stopped about right here. So, in this episode, we're going to make our way into Goldenrod City, and we're going to get the bicycle, which is an, which is an amazing thing. And we're going to do a lot of different things in Goldenrod City this episode. Not too sure all what, but I know we will be getting the odd egg this episode. It's in there, but I'm going to wait for a second because I want to talk about something really quick. Um, because we caught ourselves an Iggly buff yesterday, well, not yesterday, well, I guess yesterday, if you're watching this video, um, in the last episode, we caught an Ig a, um, Jigglypuff. So, since the odd egg can give you Iggly buff, what I'm going to do is save in front of getting the egg and get it. If it's not an Iggly buff, the first thing I get is what I get, but if it's an Iggly buff, I don't want to lose out on the odd egg, it's pretty neat. So I'll reset and get something that's not an Iggly buff, because it's Dupe's Claws, so technically it doesn't count. Just wanted to point that out, but I want to wait to get the egg until we get to Bicycle, for obvious reasons. So, let's continue this route. I put Marabu up front, because this guy's got a Growlithe, and he's about to lose his comrade. See you later. Wait, oh wait, yeah, it's nighttime. You can only fight them at nighttime. I hate that. Anyways, this guy has a Psyduck, so I'll take that on now. See Psyduck. Now you see him. Wait, I was going to make a joke and say now you don't, but he didn't die. What? Argway, that's, that's disappointing. It took me a second to realize that you did not get- and then you crit. Beautiful. Let's cross into Goldenrod City. Hallelujah. This place is amazing. There's so much that we can do here. I don't even know if I'll be able to fit it in one episode. Yeah, I will, since it's this type of series, but there's so much you can do in here. There's so much you can do everywhere. But first things first, I'm gonna put my sand shrew that has cut in the PC and grab the bike. So you make it to a big town, you're sick of walking, you see a bike shop tucked away in an alley. You're like, how do I get a free br free bike? I'm broke. You're like, hey, I got this. I'll ride around and advertise your bicycle. It's beautiful. Yeah, again, he's gonna loan me a bike. I borrowed a bike. What a joke. Borrowing is for suckers. Okay, time to get something really amazing by coming to the daycare house. So I'm going to save just for not getting Iggly buff. I'm not gonna save for a shiny. If I get one first try, that's amazing. If not, it doesn't really matter. So let's do that and let's get the odd egg. She's a daycare lady. Do you know about eggs? My husband and I were raising some Pokemon and we were shocked to find an egg. Yes, wait, I want it. No, I don't want to deposit my Pokemon. Give me the odd egg. Does the old man give me the odd egg? I'm the daycare man. Do you know about eggs? I was raising Pokemon with my wife and we found an egg. Yeah, we can take the egg. So this guy gives me the egg. So, we got the odd egg. So, I'm gonna hatch this thing. And hopefully we get something awesome. I don't even know what I want. I don't want Smoochum, but I want... Like... Mate, Tyro would be my favorite. Oh, I'd love that. Shiny Tyro. I love Hitmonlee. It's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Oh my god, please. Um, Magby, Elekid, all that stuff, it's awesome. Anyways, I'm gonna hatch it. Let's see what we get. Okay, guys, it's time for the odd egg to hatch. I'm praying it's not an Iggly buff. I don't want to hatch this thing again. That took way too long. Oh my god. So, I was thinking about it. I really don't want Tyrogue or Magby, now, or Smoochum. The reason I don't want Tyrogue is because you get a gift one later. So, it would basically cancel that out. And Magby, I can get Magma Magmar really soon in the Burn Tower. So, anything else I would be happy with, but let's see what it's gonna be. I'm really excited. Ah. <laughs> it's a Smoochum. So, that's interesting. Um, the reason I don't want Smoochum is they have really bad defense. It's also not a shiny, which is fine with me. But yeah, we got a female Smoochum. So, I'm gonna think of a name for this guy, and I'll be right back. Wait, it can only be female, duh. That's why I named my dog that. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and reference the Smoochum that I used on the channel before. 
So, it's the same type of name that I gave that Pokemon, except a different character from the same game franchise. And that's going to be Bianca. So, we have Bianca, the Smoochum. Alright, let's check it out. What do you look like? So, no shiny, obviously. And they all come with Dizzy Punch, which I forgot to point out. Which is even more of a reason that this one sucks, because they are not physical attackers, but... That's what I got. That's what I'm gonna stick with. So, I'm not gonna, like, cheese the system and keep resetting until I get what I want and then be like, Oh, hey guys, this is the first thing I got. You guys know me. I'm not like that. So, we got something horrible. That's okay. Into the PC for now it goes. I might use it. Don't get upset if I'm not using it. I might, but just not right now. If I'm gonna use it, I wanna wait until I can, like, just straight up train it to level 30 so it can start as a Jinx. Because right now it doesn't have much of a chance. I want to put it in the PC. So, the first thing in Goldenrod City I want to do is explore the Mart. There's not too much here, but I'm going to go ahead and do everything that I can find here. And I'll point out anything useful. So, obviously, this is the guy that you can trade Drowsy for an Abra. Uh, oh, wait, no. My bad. You can trade an... I got it backwards. You can trade an Abra from a Cha. Which is great for the gym, but obviously I don't have that, and I'm not going to anyways, because both of those Pokemon are eligible for my series. So, anyways, this is what is really good here. You can buy TMs. All of these are amazing. This is Headbutt, which I'm going to buy a couple of those. And the other ones are the Punches, which I'll look into those. They're expensive. But I'm going to buy two Headbutt, and I'm going to give it to Argway and to Brute. But that's all I'm going to do for now, I think. But I know Teddy Ursa can get the Punches, but I just don't think it's worth it right now. They're special attacks, and they're not that great for an Ursa Ring, because my special attack's not that high. But, they're workable, so I'll consider it at some point. But, maybe not right now. And if you come to the basement, there's some really cool sprites down here of Machoke moving some boxes, because it's a department store. And there's not too much you can do here right now, but you can come back here later and you can get a lot of stuff. Um, actually, no. Um, you can get an amulet coin here later on. I believe, but by talking to one of these guys, they'll move the Machoke? I'm almost certain. Maybe it's this guy, and then you can get the items. No? Um, yeah, it must be later on. All the boxes will be moved, I think is how it works. I know in our Gold and Soul Silver, you can have them move the boxes, but it must not happen until after you can get into the room up in the top right, which is much later in the game. So, next up, if you come to the radio tower, I can play the lottery, which is pretty sweet. Let's see if I get a Master Ball. Maybe I'll get lucky, right? It'd be really helpful, because uh, I know I didn't, but I want something. If I got a Master Ball, it'd be huge, because some Pokemon can run away, and if I found a Shiny, it'd be great. Oh, I didn't win. I thought something won because of that tune. I was wrong, but this is what you're supposed to come here for. You gotta win this little quiz to even beat the game. You have to get the radio card, so... Um, well, at some point, if you want to do Kanto, you do. So, I'll get that really quick. It's yes, yes, no, yes, and no. So, the only thing really left to do for us now is to go into Goldenrod Underground. There are some trainers down here, and more importantly, the coin case, which is where you can go to the slots, which is what I'd like to show off next. So, let's clear some trainers out. I'm going to lead with Geodude, because they, like, most of them have Magnemite, I think. So, better safe than sorry. Oh yeah, and they're all super nerds for the most part. Oh, a Grimer. Okay. Oh, I love Grimer Sprite in this game. Oh, it looks so amazing. If I can get a Grimer somehow, some way, I'm definitely using it. You guys know how much I love Muck. And we're gonna crush it with a magnitude 10. Just because I can't have one. Nobody can. I feel bad just using, um, Brute down here, but they all have things that only really he can fight. I was gonna buy Fire Punch. Oh, this guy's a Drowsy, actually. Yeah, Isaac with two S's. Oh, it's a Lickitung. That's weird. I like it. I want one. And it knows Cut. That's weird. Marabou hasn't fought for a while. Let's let him come in. Sorry, I mean her. I do this a lot. You guys know that. What's well, Isaac done? And here is what you came for. The coin case, which is amazing, because we can get a Pokemon with that, and I'll explain that here in a little bit. But there's one more trainer still, I think. Oh yeah, and you can get a haircut. That raises your Pokemon's happiness, which I don't really have anything that needs that. 
But I know I can get return on Sundays, but it's Monday. Oh, I just missed that. That's so irritating. So it doesn't really matter, but I'll give Grandpa a haircut. I mean, he's getting kind of old and gray. You know what I'm saying? Wait, no, he sells rare items. What? That's so strange. But I mean, I could sell that nugget. That's like profit. Can you actually profit on these? I've never actually known about this, so I'm just going to leave it. And there's actually two more trainers, but I guess I'll fight this one, because I know that guy up in the top left has Magnemite. So I led with um, Argway, I think. It was either Argway or Marabu, I don't remember. But I healed Marabu, just in case. Super Terry. Oh, this is the Voltorb. No, wait, he's Magnemite. Whatever, I'm going to get rid of him. He's going to take a while. They were all so low of a level that I just let Argway take them all out. Got Argway some experience. I know he hasn't fought for some time. So I'll probably do the same thing with Grandpa and the other Magnemite guy. So let's take him on with Grandpappy. My favorite. I love Teddy. He's amazing. And he's my Grandpa. Didn't you know this? I do have some rare Pokemon. And his name is Grandpa. You want to see my Grandpa? Okay. And that is it for the Goldenrod Underground. So now that we have the coin case, I am pretty excited to go to the Game Corner. Which I'm glad they left intact in this game and not got rid of it like they did in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I know in the Japanese version in Heart Gold and Soul Silver they have the game corner, but they got rid of it in the United States version, well, the North American version, because, you know, gambling is bad. Oh no. I mean, it is, but like, it's a kid's game. Come on. Well, it's not. Pokemon's not a kid's game. I never said that. You know what I mean? It's, it's for fun. Who cares? So, I'm gonna get some coins. I'm not gonna buy coins or whatever, like, a lot. I'm just gonna buy a little, so I can play for a Pokemon, because you can buy some TMs. Um, I'm not- I don't know what they are. I think they're... what is this? No, I don't want to tell me. I think they're, like, not Ice Beam, like, Blizzard and stuff. Blizzard, Fire Blast, and Thunder, I think? Don't quote me on that. And you can buy some Pokemon. So I'm allowed to get one Pokemon here. And you can get Cubone! It's amazing! I'm not allowed to get Abra, but I can either get Cubone or Wobbuffet. And I'm really debating on this one. Cubone's my mascot. I love Cubone. I'd love to use one. But I already have a ground type in Geodude, and I don't I think it'd be redundant right now. And Wobbuffet would be a really cool final member for right now. That's just interesting. I think it would be really unique to give it a try. I can get Wobbuffet in the wild in the dark cave, but I already got my encounter there, so I'd never be able to get one. I can get a Cubone later on in the Rock Tunnel. Obviously, it's a really long ways away. I'm going to give this thought while I'm getting the coins. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll definitely consider Wobbuffet. It's really, really cool, and I think a lot of people would like it. So I'll think about it, but time to gamble. So I don't know if the slots have different odds, like in old game, or well, in some game corner um, games. I know Fire and Leaf Green, different slots have different odds. I don't know about here. I'm just going to play the slots. And I'm going to play them while I tell a little story here. Um, I just thought I'd give a little commentary here because, you know, this series is a little different and I'm just going to spam three. That's how I always play them. It works out most of the time. So um, one thing I wanted to talk about was um, when I was a young, little kid, I lived with my mom and my grandma and my, my mom's mom, obviously. And uh, she was like my best friend when I was a little kid. She'd passed away when I was 10 years old. And one of my fondest memories with my grandma was she loved the slot machines. She wasn't a gambler, but she loved playing the slots. Like, that was her favorite thing to do. And I remember uh, I would give her my Pokemon Gold and Silver game when I would be playing through them and I needed coins. I'd give her my game and she'd play the slot machines for me. And I'd always come back to a game with, like, maxed out coins. And it was just her favorite thing in the world to do was play the slots. So I thought it'd be something really cool. To, to share with you guys and whenever I play the slot machines I'm like come on grandma give me those sevens so will she come through right now and give us the sevens because we need some coins or I'm gonna run out of money but you know I just thought it would be a cute little story to share and I'm sure a lot of people maybe will be able to relate with some sort of personal story with their own grandparents because she was the only re really grandparent that I had because all my other grandparents um like I wasn't close with or don't really know so, it's kind of ironic in a way that we have Grandpa on the team, because I never really had a Grandpa that I was close with, in a way. But, I definitely was with my Grandma, so I'm gonna get these coins. Unfortunately, it's gonna cost me some more money. I know I have a Revive I can sell, so it's not that big of a deal. And, I just thought I'd share that with you guys, to give a little personal touch to it. And, I'll be back in a little bit.
Wade? No berries again. He's just a nuisance, Wade. You're interrupting my gambling time. Okay, guys. I've never been this unlucky in the slots. Normally, I just spam A until I get it. Once I get sevens, then you can't really run out. You just keep doing it until you get sevens again, until you get the coins you need. It's normally how it works for me. I've never been this unlucky. I've spent, like, 5,000 Poké Dollars. Still nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and get it in the next episode. I'll do it, like, in my own time, and I'll end up getting it eventually. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode, a like is appreciated. It helps out a great deal. If you want to see more Pokémon Wedlocks or Nuzlocks, like Pokémon Crystal, feel free to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time when we take on Whitney, the third gym leader of the game. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.